What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 26 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that we're just trying to figure out in which choice is y a function of x. And our answer choices all have four points. We're supposed to figure out which set of four points is actually a function. So in terms of the skill that we need for a question like this, it's just the definition of a function. That's it. Now, what exactly is the definition of a function? Well, basically, very, very basically, the idea is that the same x number cannot, so I'll put a big x through this, cannot give us different y numbers. So if we think of x as our input and y as our output, um, I'll actually use an example that a student told me. Uh, think of this like the buttons on a vending machine. So if I press, I don't know how they're organized these days, like the A1 button and the B2 button, if I press the A1 button, I'm expecting to get green Takis. If I press the B2 button, I'm expecting to get purple Takis. What would be bad is if one button actually got me two different snacks. I'd have the same input giving me different outputs and I wouldn't know what to expect. So with a function, we want the same input to give us different, or we want the same input to give us one output every time. Uh, we can have duplicates of um, x and y values, but if the same x gives us a different y, we do not have a function. Now I'll actually pull up the graph from question 25 to show how this looks on a graph. You might remember something called the vertical line test, and if you don't, I'll go ahead and demonstrate it. Basically, I put a marker or a pencil or something down and I move it across my graph so that it stays at a vertical line and I'm going to see if I hit more than one point at the same time. Just one point, just one point, just one, just one, just one, just one, just one, just one, and just one. Since I only hit one point at the same time, that's a visual way that I can know that I do not have the same x giving me different y's. So I know that these points, even though they don't make a line, they still count as a function. So now if I come back to this question and look for in which choice is y a function of x, all I'm doing is looking for the same x and seeing if it gives me a different y value. So for example, in choice b, 2 shows up as our x value multiple times. At one time it gives us the number 0, at another time it gives us the number 3. This is exactly what we don't want. So we know that this is not a function, and we know that b is not our answer. For choice c, I have an x of 2 and an x of 2, giving me different numbers, 5 and 12. That's what I don't want. For choice d, I have an x of 6 coming up twice. One time it gives me 2, the other time it gives me 8. That's what I don't want, so I know that this is not a function, which brings me to choice a, where I have different x, different x, different x, different x, since I have all different x's, I don't even have the same x to test and see if it gives me a different y. So it's, it's kind of a cheap way to say that a is our answer, but if all of my x values are different in one of the answer choices on a question like this, then I know pretty well that that answer choice is in fact my answer. 